Hi everyone, happy Manga Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about Midnight Rain, CTK Yaoi. All it says on it is that it's a Yaoi slice of life drama, not really any comedy. It's about a older man, and older, I mean, probably like in his 30s or 40s. It's about an older man who is in the laundromat and he's witnessing this guy being, being like beat the tar out of outside on the street. And he's just standing there watching. And then later they are in the laundromat together. And he notices that the guy who got beat up is able to get blood really easily out of his clothes. So he approaches him and he's like, hey, how do you do that? Like, how, how were you able to remove the blood stain so well? And that's how they start this conversation. And the guy, our main male lead, uh, is just talking to him about like the area and where he lives and they go their separate ways. Cause the secondary male lead is just like, this dude's crazy, like why is he talking to me? A couple days go by and in the middle of the night, his our male lead's doorbell's going off. He goes down and it's the secondary male lead has been stabbed and is in a really rough condition, basically passed out. So he takes him in, he takes care of him, cleans him up, and they're living together temporarily. Uh, some stuff happens that the secondary male lead isn't too fond of and gets a little upset, but they end up working through their issue, <laughs> miscommunication. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't really want to give it away, but, um, their situation got resolved and they kind of have a weird relationship because it's not like they're dating but they're living together and our main male lead definitely has feelings for the secondary male lead and our secondary male lead it's kind of it leads you to believe that he had an abusive relationship beforehand so he's very wary of He's very wary of what he says, what he does, his actions, the actions of our first male lead, because obviously he doesn't want to be hurt. He doesn't want to be trapped. But our first male lead is hiding secrets. He, well, he's not intentionally hiding secrets, but he has like a mountain of debt under his name. So there are debt collectors or like a, a gang member representative person that comes to the house to collect money. And it's not his debt either. It's his, it's his dad's debt, but he, it's, mm, I, I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to give too much away. I'm going to get ahead of myself. Either way. I thought it was a, I thought it was a good read. I thought it was a good yaoi. I liked the artwork. I liked the schnoo schnoo scenes. I like the storyline and the plot. Of course, it is super short. It's like five, it's less than 10 chapters for sure. But I'm always kind of one of those people who's like, I would like more, even though I went into this knowing that it was complete at like seven chapters, like I still want more. This is the same person who did uh, on doorstep or on the doorstep, which I did a review about as well. And I really like, the author's work personally. So if you get a chance, if you're into Yaoi, I would suggest reading it. It's only going to take you a day to read. You'll just blow through it super quick. I appreciate you guys watching and I'm probably not going to post for a couple weeks just because I'm doing, I'm like, if you've been watching my previous videos, I've been doing like a, a bulk session of recordings just so hopefully I won't fall behind, but I might fall behind and I might not post for a couple weeks because we're doing so many repairs on our house that I might just not get around to it. So there's a chance I'm not going to post in the upcoming weeks and that's why, but I should be back to posting around December or mid-November at like the latest. <laughs> so I'm sorry for that, if that's an inconvenience, but I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you later. Bye everyone.